voice is fine. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for asking. What the food, man? Found another what the food guy in a nursing home murders someone with a sandwich. Allow that to simmer. Just yeah. What the fuck? What the yeah, Everybody just... Okay. Yeah. With the sandwich. Now, before reading the rest of the article, I, you know, my imagination was galloping wild, so to speak. Um, how, how do you murder someone with a sandwich? Does someone have a really small head and you get two pieces of bread and uh, use them as a vice grip a la mafioso styles how how do you that is so weird okay maybe it's old school you put uh, some rat poison or something and you poison the sandwich alright but that's not as dramatic I know get the pieces of bread, you dip in some cement, let them sit like French toast, like you're dipping it in a batter, and you put the pieces of bread in some cement, and you hang them to dry, you dry off the cement with your hair dryer, and now you have two hard pieces of cement, then you put the bread together and put your rat poison or, or nails or whatever or razor blades inside the cement sandwich and you take it and you knock the person right the foot out so heavy sandwich or you uh, put a bunch of like I said put a bunch of razor blades in the sandwich oh it's a special new fitting I'm working on let me know how you <laughs> No, how? Anyways, it, was, it turned out to be really boring. He just put the sandwich in the bag and then forced the bag down the person. Boy, what a cop out! No imagination. MacGyver would be ashamed. And MacGyver was the man. He could make a hydrogen bomb out of tampons and orange juice. There's nothing MacGyver can't do. Except maybe um, I don't know. Maintain, he could have maintained that moment a little more, you know, it's a little too, yeah. Other than that, hey, murdering Peter person with the sandwiches. <laughs> what? Well, food. Um, I want to know what kind of sandwich it was and why he got this person. Maybe the person that he killed was always taking his sandwich and stealing it kind of like a prison situation. He was the fresh fish and he was trying to intimidate him. He was like, hey, that baloney. <laughs> Give to me, new boy. You know who this is. So maybe one night in his sleep, got the sandwich, put it in the bag. You want your f***ing sandwich? I'll give you your f***ing sandwich. Here, take your <laughs> And he forced the sandwich. Here, you can have your damn sandwich. All right? Be the last sandwich you ever have, Mama Cass. And just for the record, Mama Cass was not murdered with the sandwich. I know there's a rumor saying she died choking on a ham and cheese sandwich. But my medical records aren't up to date. So I can neither confirm nor deny these allegations. I would never murder someone with a sandwich. That's cray cray. That's, you'd have to really put a lot of peanut butter and jam in the bread. Oh, you way All right, peanut butter and jam sandwich in a bag to murder someone. But I think what he would have done is just got extra crunchy peanut butter because I don't like it. And the, the sheer weight of the nuts, no chance for recovery. You can't just go down and then fish that shit out. Maybe it's the new whipped stuff. But with those nuts, no way. That's artery clogging. That's a recipe for danger. So, I just want to know what sandwich it was. What kind of a sandwich? 
you know what? Truth be told, saw the article. I haven't read the whole thing yet. I just got excited. I was like, sandwich, murder, time to make a video. Why don't I check the facts? So I'll go back and find out if they know what kind of sandwich it was. Sandwich. Murder weapon. Ninja Star Sandwiches. They could be work. You can cut out cute little cookie cutters like the ninja bread. You can take like the pieces of bread and like you know how people use cookie cutters to make cookies. Make little stars out of the bread pieces. And then you can just throw the ninja star bread at people. That's how you kill someone with the sandwich. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm still working on coffee number two.